Often the hardest part of interning can be feeling like you're anything more than a nuisance to your supervisors. While some internships bring you right into the action with a lot of tasks that really make you feel like you're a part of the team, others can leave you wondering why they even hired an intern at all. This semester, I interned at Observer, an online media source in New York City that covers politics, arts, entertainment, business, and lifestyle on a national scale. I was an editorial intern working most closely with the arts and entertainment editors. At my internship, I had the opportunity to pitch and write my own articles while also contributing to general newsroom tasks like updating spreadsheets and transcribing interviews. My goal going into this internship was to write. As a student in my senior spring looking to pursue a career in journalism, I wanted to produce concrete work that I could add to my portfolio. So I was excited at first when I was told that I would be able to pitch my own articles. However, I quickly learned that it wasn't going to be as easy as submitting a list of pitches and being led from point A to point B. At this internship, I had to learn how to speak up for myself if I was going to have the experience that I wanted. In this five minute Millie talk, I will discuss how I created per, uh, success for myself through persistence at my internship at Observer and how this relates back to my experience at Barnard. While I nominally had the chance to pitch and write at this internship, I quickly learned that I was going to have to speak up for myself if I was going to put out pieces that I was excited about. After a slow first few couple days of updating spreadsheets, I submitted my first round of pitches to two different editors. There was one pitch that I was particularly excited about, and so I was nervous and also a little bit frustrated when a week went by and the editor I had submitted to hadn't gotten back to me because I thought that that meant that my pitches weren't worth his time. So I took a little bit of a risk by reaching out to him and asking if he had had the chance to take a look at them and if there was anything that I could have done better um, in order to improve next time. Um, and so when he got back to me, it turned out that he had just been busy and that he actually really liked the pitch that I was excited about. Um, and he said that he would have one of the writers uh, look, at, look at it with me and help me out with it. However, another week went by and I never heard back from the writer. Um, at this point, I was doubly frustrated because the piece that I, or the, um, the event that I wanted to write about was on the horizon. Um, so I took another risk and just wrote the article anyway without direction and submitted it to the editor unprompted. Um, I figured that the worst case scenario would be that he didn't like it and wouldn't run it. Um, however, it turned out that he really liked it. Um, so he had one of the writers make a few minor edits on the piece and it went live the next time that I was in the office. While it was frustrating along the way to be pushed aside by my supervisors in favor of their other work, it felt really good to know that I had persisted and produced a piece of work that I was proud of in the process. I think it was this act of turning in a piece unprompted that really made the rest of my internship experience a positive one. At, in doing so, I showed the editors not only that I was a good writer, but that I was passionate, tenacious, and eager to work. After I submitted this piece, the editor started to be more proactive about my role in the office, not just asking me to submit pitches based on the daily news, but also allowing me to do things like uh, reach out to publishers and request books that I was interested in, in reviewing. Um, overall, I did have a positive experience at this internship, um, but I do truly believe that it was only because I was determined to make sure that I wasn't left behind with my supervisors. Um, I knew going into this internship that it was going to be an important experience for my career, but it definitely didn't happen in the way that I expected. I had envisioned myself working closely with the editors in order to improve my skills in pitching and writing. And while I did improve my pitching somewhat, the thing that I really learned at Observer was how to stick up for myself and put into use the tools necessary to make myself heard when I know that I am being ignored and underestimated. Um, and this will serve me in any professional setting going forward. In this Millie talk, <laughs> I described how I created success for myself through persistence in my internship at Observer. Um, this story is important not just to me, but also because it serves as a reminder of how Barnard gives the students the tools necessary to make themselves heard both inside of and outside of the classroom. Getting the internship is only the first step. There's still a lot of work to be done in making sure that the experience that you have is a good one. Barnard gave me the confidence in my ideas and abilities necessary to make myself heard at the office, and that will serve me for the rest of my career.